Hi, Dr. Beth. I am so happy to have you here today. Thank you so much for joining the show. And I'm so excited to share you with my listeners and just to really um, get into all the details of all the wonderful stuff we're going to talk about today. You are such a wealth of information, and I just love talking to you and picking your brain <laughs> and well, talk, we talk about all things health. So yes. welcome to the show. I love it. Thank you. And thank you for having me. Of course, of course, absolutely. So I would love for you just to take a few seconds to share a little bit about yourself and what brought you to more of a functional medicine, um, you know, what made you interested in functional medicine? Yeah, so my background, my training is in chiropractic. And I went to National College of Chiropractic in Lombard, Illinois. And the focus there really was primary care and about diagnosis. Um, yes, we learned how to adjust, you know, chiropractically and, and all of that good goodness. But um, we also learned how to draw blood, how to do male and female physical uh, sensitive exams and uh, just were trained you know, all the way, all across the board. So that really appealed to me. And that's something that I wanted to carry forward. Uh, when I first started out in practice, I, I bought a primarily musculoskeletal practice um, in Lyle, Illinois, and I was there for about eight years. And then uh, I actually heard about SHAPE and um, the SHAPE Reclaim program. And one of my really good friends uh, uh, was doing it. And she said, you know, you really ought to check this out and, you know, incorporate it in, in, in what you're doing. And so I really just started from ground zero there. And I, I started as a shape practitioner and just kind of grassroots. I mean, everybody that came in knew they were doing shape and that was that. And I just kind of built off of that, meaning... Um, you know, I, I started learning about different, different supplements, different modalities and things like that. And, um, I remember my apex energetics, um, uh, account rep in, I think the, in July of 2017, she invited me to, um, to the IF, to IFM's hormone module, which was in Chicago at the time. And so, you know, on her, you know, completely free of charge. And so I got to see about what the Institute for Functional Medicine was, was about and the organization. And I was like, after that two and a half day weekend, I was just like, I was all in. And so I was like, I've, I've got to do this. I've got to do the whole, the whole thing and become a certified practitioner. And I did. And, um, that, you know, has been just, just a wonderful, wonderful journey. So. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Once you get a taste of functional medicine, you can't, you can't go back, right? You just can't because it's the best of both worlds. You're blending what you learn conventionally with a holistic way of living and the outcome is so much better. So how could we ever go back once we know what we know? Absolutely. Absolutely. That is so true. That is so true. So for um, those that don't understand what the Shape Reclaim program is, can you give a little bit of information about that? Yes, for sure. Uh, it is really based on, I tell new patients, it's based on inflammation and ridding, ridding the body of, of in inflammation. And uh, yes, you are going to lose, you know, some weight in the, in the process. But, um, I, I, I say that, it, you know, shape, shape involves, incorporates the brain and the whole process of decreasing inflammation, increasing immune function, and, um, just kind of teaching you how to, um, live a better life for no uncertain terms, or, you know, I, at least cooking and preparing meals. And, um, you know, I have patients that say, well, 
you know, I have, I don't have time to meal prep and, and whatnot and this. And I just say, you know what, shape done about 10% is better than shape done. Not at all. So, um, it's just, um, I've just had so many word of mouth referrals and, and things like that. It's, it's, it's just a great, a, a great program to keep, you know, striving for, keep trying to follow because, you know, nobody's going to be a hundred percent. There's just no, I can't, I can't do it. You can't do it. It's just, there, there's no such thing, but, you know, striving for certain, you know, certain things and just keep, keep on learning, keep on improving yourself. I think that's, 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 that's the, that's the key. So. I agree. And there is no perfection, right? There's only progress, you know, mm -hmm. so, you know, consistent, intentional progress, action. I mean, it's all good. Your body will benefit. And I love, this is what I love so much about shape is that it does affect us on the cellular level. And so mm -hmm. the brain benefits that we get are life-changing, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are, they're life-changing. And you know, one of my favorite, favorite um, uh, client testimonials, for lack of a better way to explain it, is, you know, she said, I feel like the lights have been turned on for the first time in years. Mm -hmm. And she was talking about the brain fog, that constant brain fog that, you know, most women tend to be dragging around with them, right? Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. that is at the root. Mm -hmm. that's inflammation right mm -hmm. so you know we are struggling with inflammation and I would even say um, women in midlife specifically are struggling with inflammation because we are we're struggling with our hormones we're trying to figure all of that out we're we're in the midst of it maybe we've spent all of our lives focusing on our family our kids or you mm -hmm. know our job our career and you know, meanwhile, our own health is suffering. And so that's, it's like a perfect storm. And then for some of uh, my clients and myself included, mm -hmm. your kids move out, you're an empty nester all of a sudden, and here you are, and you feel like total crap, and you don't know what to do about it. Yes. So it's, it's just so interesting. So I wanted to I wanted you to speak about how does inflammation specifically affect women's hormones? So I think, you know, first of all, I think we're all inflamed regardless. I mean, you can't be living in today's environment, you know, without being, without being inflamed. But I, I think, uh, as you said, this time of the year, um, a lot of women in specific are struggling with kids, you know, going back to school or leaving for the workforce or what, you know, whatever, whatever it might be. And that stress level is, is just so high in terms of, you know, things going on at home, things going on in the world. And then, you know, people are, I feel like are really bogged down by, by these things. And the body is just being forced to handle it. And sometimes uh, you know, you talk about maladaptation to stress. I think that is the basis, you know, for inflammation in general and how the body, you know, what, what body part takes the hit, so to speak. Um, is it going to be your pancreas and type two diabetes? Is it going to be, you know, your brain and dementia, you know, the list, the list goes on. Um, but if we don't interrupt that constant cycle, um, I, I, I go back to, go back to my list there, um, cortisol, the increase in stress. Are you, are you shunting everything to producing cortisol and none of your other hormones are being made, which I see quite often. Um, it is just, um, it's so, so individualized and so specific, um, uh, which I think is what makes functional medicine, functional medicine. There's no, it's not a cookie, not a cookie cutter approach. It is, um, bioindividuality is what, you know, the shape program is, is 
really kind of, really kind of based on, but um, looking, looking at each person and saying, asking, you know, not what's wrong, but what's, what's not right. So. Yeah, I agree completely. And that's the thing. I think sometimes we ask the wrong question because we don't know any better. And so that kind of brings me to, let's say, you know, we go to the doctor, we get our regular lab, uh, lab work done, it comes back normal. I, I'm starting to really struggle with that word, normal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What <laughs> is normal? There's nothing, there's nothing normal about feeling like crap. Right. And I, I get so frustrated when women come to me and they're like, well, my labs are normal, but I still feel horrible. And they just want to recheck my labs in six months, nine months, a year. Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to do in the meantime? I still feel horrible. So yeah. no mention of lifestyle changes, no dietary changes mentioned, mm -hmm. no supplementation mentioned. Mm -hmm. So it's a real struggle, but can you talk about where, what would be a good blood work baseline? for women to ask for. Mm -hmm. um, I know, and this is a whole other conversation, but insurance companies will dictate what yeah. doctors can order. And I just went round and round and round with my own doctor's office <laughs> recently about this. And I'm like, I will pay out of pocket. Mm -hmm. I'm asking for these labs. I don't mm -hmm. care about the insurance company. Mm -hmm. And so what, what would be the baseline, a very baseline that may or may not be um, uh, brought up by their doctor that they can ask for when they are dealing with hormonal issues or just overall women in midlife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of piggybacking off your, your statement there about insurance companies. So I'm not sure if you've ever heard of Ulta lab tests. Um, it, it gives a percentage off and I can actually order, you know, forget about insurance. It's, it's a cash. Um, but I can order what I want to see and patients pay generally between 150 and $200. And so wherever, you know, it doesn't matter where they are. I put the order through on the computer and I see what I want to see. And it's in my opinion, not breaking the bank. That being said, you, you know, we still can definitely order lab work through, lab core quest, uh, things like that. But I generally say, um, CBC with differential complete blood count, um, comprehensive metabolic panel, which is going to give us, um, a look at, uh, glucose and kidney function, liver function, liver enzymes, um, electrolytes, a few things along those lines. I like to look at something called HSCRP, high sensitivity C-reactive protein, uh, which is a really kind of a marker for overall inflammation in the body, um, just in general. Um, it's more specific in my opinion than something called SED rate, which I know a lot of practitioners like to run. Yeah. Uh, I like to throw in uh, fasting insulin level because, um, you know, I look for blood sugar regulation issues. Like I look at hemoglobin A1C, I look at glucose, I look at triglycerides, but sometimes you can kind of tip, you know, get a tip uh, from the fasting insulin level. Is the body trending toward, you know, blood sugar dysregulation or prediabetes, that, that type of thing. So I also like to look at homocysteine, uh, which is a marker. It, it tells us a little bit about the methylation cycle, the, detox, the detoxification cycle in the body. And it's a marker for um, cardiovascular risk uh, as well. So I like to look at homocysteine, uh, vitamin D, of course. Uh, those are kind of kind of the heavy hitters. If somebody's struggling with anemia, looking at iron, um, tra ferritin, transferrin, transferrin, um, iron binding capacity. As far as hormones go, uh, well, actually, let me go back to thyroid. How could I forget about this? Uh, <laughs> a lot of practitioners only look at 
thyroid, I know you've probably heard this before, but thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH and free T4, and that's it. There yeah. are about eight other markers that we need to look at because that isn't telling the full story. Right. So, um, as far as antibody level, um, or uh, yeah, the uh, antibody level and autoimmune Hashimoto's, uh, that type of thing, we need those other markers to see where the true problem is. Um, so thyroid, if, if that is a, uh, a concern, I like to look at hormones, uh, via, I mean, it depends what I'm looking for, but I like to, I love the Dutch test and it stands. Yeah. Yes. Me yep. too. I love that. It is yes. so comprehensive. I mean, that's in the name, right? It's the yes. <laughs> dried urine comprehensive test for um, hormones, you know, yes. and it's, you know, it's really crazy how you get such a great clear picture from the Dutch that finally it's like a light bulb moment. Like, you know, yes, finally this explains why I've been feeling the way I've been feeling. And it's mm -hmm. almost like that amazing validation. When we know what we are dealing with, we can handle it so much better. It's yeah. not knowing. I agree a hundred percent. The Dutch is a must in midlife for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I, uh, and you know, the, the picture it paints, like you said, you know, looking at cortisol and DHEA and, is that cortisol getting into the tissues and what, you know, the inactive form of cortisol, cortisone, what is that level and all the metabolites it gives you. If you've got, um, you know, if I have a, a, a patient and their mom uh, has had a female cancer, I, I say, you know what, let's do Dutch. Let's do it just to see the metabolites and the, the estrogen uh, metabolites is the body breaking it down as it should, or does it need some extra help, um, in, in doing so, or is my cortisol so high that again, I'm not producing any other hormones. And, uh, so it, again, like the thyroid, it depends, um, where the issue is, how we go about treating that issue. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's so beautiful, all of the freedom that we actually do have because we can order our own labs online. Mm -hmm. um, I use a different lab company where I order labs online too. And it's just so much easier, mm -hmm. you know, to cut out the middleman and you are in control. You know, you can take back your health. You are in control. You're your best advocate for your health. Mm -hmm. And once we, once we get that clear picture, like I said earlier, we know what to do with it, like, or we know who we can go to, right? You know, we could go to Dr. Bath and we can, we can say, help us to interpret these labs that I don't understand. Because yeah. here's the other thing. Sometimes we could get a Dutch, um, a complete marker with the Dutch hormone test and we take it to our primary care physician and they don't know how to read it. They have Absolutely. no idea what that is. Yeah. Um, I've actually brought up the word Dutch and I had the blank there. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, it's just interesting to me. And, and Dutch is just one of the amazing hormone tests that, you know, we can do. I think it's a gold standard for sure because it paints the best picture. Right. But there's, you know, saliva testing and there's yep. DRT. There's a bunch of different ones. Um, it depends what you're looking for. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. You're right. And, you know, especially with adrenal fatigue and all of that, you do want to be digging deeper. Um, when I had my Dutch test, I had no cortisol. I had no testosterone. I was below the lowest of the line. Wow. So that explained a lot in my health, I'll tell you. <laughs> right. Absolutely. But if I hadn't done the Dutch test, I would never have known that. Because know. It doesn't necessarily show up in the blood. Mm -hmm. That's a whole other conversation that I would love to have you back for, for sure. But um, can you, switching gears a little bit off of the lab test, can you um, speak about the different ways that inflammation affects us, not only physically, but um, mentally, like the brain, the, the brain and the body as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, uh, one of the, one of the first questions I ask patients when they come in is, you know, how is your sleep? And, uh, and a lot of 
people, you know, just don't even think, how are your bowel habits? How is your sleep? Um, those are two big questions that we could spend the whole time on, you know, right? So, sure. um, but um, because, you know, if you're not sleeping, you're inflamed, your brain is inflamed and which causes your rest of your body to be inflamed and, and so on and so forth. And um, I just think that, um, you know, as I, as I mentioned before, you know, the, the, the big things, the type two diabetes and um, dementia, Alzheimer's and irritable bowel syndrome. I mean, those are, those are obvious things. Um, but if you've got gas and bloating or you have sinus drainage or, you know, you've got, uh, some lung congestion, those are, that's inflammation, right? And so, um, I, I think people don't really realize that, that what, what that is and, and what that means and that, you know, they don't need to wait until it's an issue that shows up in your blood work, right? We're trying to be preventive, we're trying to be proactive. And that's why we put tighter parameters on our blood work numbers is, you know, if you come in and say, well, hey, I, all my markers are normal again. Um, sometimes I, I always ask, you know, can I please see a copy? Because um, I want to put my, my parameters on it and, and be a little bit more nitpicky and critiquey and, and so that's, you know, that's, that's just kind of the way, the way I approach things. And, and, you know, a, a question I had the other day was, you know, can a well, can a well person come and see you? Well, absolutely. Because I'm going to try to pick them apart. <laughs> Art, not that they're not well, right. But that, you know, I want them to be the best version of themselves and be proactive, preventive, and so forth. So, so yeah. I agree. You know, I, I say all the time, let's be proactive now so we don't have to be reactive later. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, we are striving for that optimal health, right? I mean, I don't believe that God intends for his daughters to be sad, sick, and stagnant or stuck in their health. Mm -hmm. And that encompasses the mind, body, soul, spirit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he has given us everything on this earth to use for our good and for his glory. But it's up to us to find that. It's up to us to learn and to educate ourselves on that. And that's why it's mm -hmm. so amazing that we have these wonderful uh, functional and holistic practitioners like yourself, because it's a lot. It's a lot of information and it's very, very overwhelming. Huh. And it can be overwhelming. So sure. yes, a well person will always benefit from making healthier lifestyle changes, for mm -hmm. digging deeper and getting to the root cause of something. I mean, you right. could feel like you are doing great. You have all this energy and everything, but you're only getting four hours of sleep a night. That over time is going to affect you. It's going to affect mm -hmm. your brain for sure. Mm -hmm. So you know, making these small switches, these small healthier habits so that they become a healthy habit before you know it, like water, for example, like my big thing is water before coffee. Everybody mm -hmm. needs to be drinking mm -hmm. water before coffee mm -hmm. <laughs> first mm -hmm. thing in the morning. So, um, you know, that is hydrating. It's not dehydrating. We are dehydrated right. from sleeping all night. So just making little tiny changes um, every day until you know it, it's a healthy habit and you don't right. even have to think about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Small, small changes over time. You know, it, I, so many of my patients come in and they, they're so focused on, I want to lose 10 to 15 pounds before such and such is wedding in October. And I'm like, okay, well, we can probably do that, but I want you to look big picture big picture here. So, uh, um, you know, it's, it's, it's learning to, to, to dance with everybody because everybody's going to dance differently. Right. So, um, exactly. that just staying in step with, with 
who's sitting in front of you uh, is always my and 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 listening, um, right? So I think that's the the one of the one of the main things. So. I agree because like you said earlier, we are all bio-individual. We have that wonderful bio-individuality that God has given each one of us because we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Mm -hmm. So one person's, you know, food can be another person's poison and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Same with working out, you know, like it's not one size fits all. None of this is one size fits all. And mm -hmm. so by the time we have reached midlife it's time to just kind of throw everything out the window that we've learned about health and nutrition and dieting and, and exercising and start fresh and finally like reclaim our health and take back control over our health right mm -hmm. and yeah. and just know that and be confident like mm -hmm. you can be your own best advocate you know mm -hmm. you can absolutely you don't have to be dictated to by the pharmaceutical companies, by the insurance companies, by your doctor. Mm -hmm. If you don't like your doctor, find a different one. You yeah. know, if you're not getting the help you need, find a functional practitioner like yourself. And so I love that. I think that we definitely could talk for another hour on the subject because it's so sure. important. I mean, it really is so vital. Um, for sure. The food not only is no more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I love what you said. You said, um, you know, instead of asking what's wrong, ask what's not right. And mm -hmm. that's so true because again, go back to that healthy person. They feel like they're healthy, but still something's not right. Mm -hmm. Something's off. Mm -hmm. So I love that digging deep, getting to the root cause. That's what functional medicine is all about. So, um, yeah, I, would love to have you back and we can just kind of uh, dig deeper into some other things like um, Chinese, uh, traditional Chinese medicine. I would love to talk about that at another time and, and just kind of go deeper into some of the modalities that you use. But um, if you don't mind, I'd like to kind of put you in the hot seat a little bit. Can you share uh -oh. what is your favorite? It's okay. What is your favorite decadent dessert? Like, do you have one? Like, do you have like a not so guilty pleasure maybe? Oh gosh. Uh, I really like, uh, I like using almond flour in wow. either, either brownies and I may put a little cocoa powder in there. Um, and uh, there's some really good maple syrup that we get from, Costco actually that is just fabulous and so um, I would have to say that is is a, um, a really uh, one of my favorites and the other one is a it's called a nine egg cake nine eggs cool. yeah and it's it's kind of a layer cake and so you know you get get out your um, your Oh gosh, what are those expanding pans called? Um, uh, I want to say styrofoam pan, but that's that's not it. But spring foam. Thank spring you. Spring foam. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was spring, thinking yeah. Too. Thank you, thank you. And so uh, uh, make a couple of those, and it's almost like eating angel food cake. And so again, a little bit of a little bit of almond flour and some eggs in there, and uh, um, so yeah, that's that's couple of my favorites. Okay. So I need you now to send me that recipe. <laughs> oh gosh. I will try. I will do it. That sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. Well, thank you so much. You're my kind of girl. Chocoholic all the way. I love it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Um, where can our um, viewers and listeners find you? So I am, my website is drbethbartlett.com. And just all one word, all spelled out, no, no uh, hyphens or anything like that. And uh, I do have so, some social media pages. Uh, my, uh, fa my Facebook, uh, I have a page that's called Dr. Beth Bartlett Holistic Health, which is the name of my practice. And my Instagram tag is drbeth.b. So... Um, those are some just different ways. And of course, my email and my 
phone number, um, Dr. Beth Bartlett one at gmail.com. And, um, my, my, uh, telephone number as well, 630-699-5714. So I text and, and or talk on that number. <laughs> Wonderful. That's incredible. Well, thank you so much. It has been such a pleasure and such an honor to have you on the show. Thank and, you, Michelle. Um, I would love to have you back at another time and we can dig even deeper. I would love that. I would love that. Awesome. Well, Thanks thank so you much. so much. You have a wonderful day. We'll talk soon. All right. You too. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Thanks.